hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so here is the updated solution for this lab so i request you please watch the video very carefully because i'm going to explain each and every point in detail so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once done with that just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and here just simply search for the vertex ai open this thing new tab and just simply come back over here now just simply wait and just simply click on this enable all recommendation API. Make sure that you have to click over here. Now once you're done with this, click on this workbench. And then click on this user managed notebook. Make sure that you have to click on the user managed notebook. Now just simply wait. And then click on this open Jupyter lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. So just simply wait for that. And if you face any kind of error when you are trying to launch the Jupyter notebook, so no need to worry, just simply wait for a couple of seconds and refresh the page. And it's finally done. Now just simply click on this generative AI folder like this way. Then click on this language folder like this way. Now here you can see prompt folder. Just simply double click over here and then open this file like this way. Now just simply wait. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time for running a shell, you can just simply click on this play button or you can hit shift and enter button. But before that, you have to make sure that your kernel status must be ideal. So as you can see for now, the kernel status is ideal. But if your kernel status is busy, then you have have to wait until running the next command so how to run this command just simply scroll down and from here you can see just simply click on this blank space like this way now you can just simply click on this play button or you can hit shift and enter button like this way now from here you can just simply check the progress so as you can see the kernel status is busy so we have to just simply wait until it shows ideal so finally it's ideal so now just simply scroll down now we have to run this command so just simply hit and shift and enter button like this way and now just simply wait and you will get a, this kind of pop-up like kernel is restarting. Make sure that you have to click on this OK like this way. Now before running the next command, just simply cross verify your kernel status. So as you can see, it's ideal now. Again, just simply scroll down. Now run this command like this way and just simply wait and it's done. Now again, just simply scroll down. Now here, please pay attention. Here you can see we have to replace the project ID over here. So for that, just simply come back to the dashboard and just simply click on this cross. And from here, just simply copy this project ID, copy like this come back over here and just simply replace over here like this way okay now just simply remove all the extra space if you get now make sure that it must look like this now here you can see region in future if you are able to find a different region on the lab instruction page okay then only just simply replace that region with this okay otherwise you can just simply continue with the default region okay now you don't have to wait for your kernel status show as an idea now you can hit and run each and every shell at the same time like this way just simply hit shift and enter button till end and it's done now from here just simply track down your progress so just simply wait now the kernel status show as ideal And it's finally done now if you just simply check your file you won't see the any kind of error over here if you just simply follow the instruction which i mentioned in this video okay now what you do just simply click on this language folder like this way now click on this getting start over here like this way now just simply open this file like this way now here we have to do the same thing just simply scroll down and before running this command we have to do we have to just simply cross verify the kernel status so it's ideal now just simply click over here run this shell like this way now just simply wait until it shows ideal and it's finally done now again just simply scroll down now run this command and just simply wait and then click on this ok like this now again just simply scroll down now run this shell again scroll down now just simply wait and from here you can see just simply scroll down and here we have to again change the project id so again come back over here copy this project id like this way just simply copy like this Come back over here and just simply replace over here like this way okay and in future if we are able to find a different region then just simply change that region okay now just simply run till last
okay now if from here you can just simply drag down the progress so just simply wait until your current status show as ideal And it's finally done now if you check this file you won't see any kind of error now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and if you just simply check the score for the each and every task you will get a green tick over here without any issue and if you are not able to get a green tick over here no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue just simply wait and watch And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to come to this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.